hey what's up welcome back to my channel by felicia um i got something different and new for you guys you know i'm revamping this whole channel so i'm glad that all of you guys decided you know to stick around with me um i finally 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 got something that i really love and something that i really you know really enjoy doing and i wanted to share that with you guys and that was my love for my houseplants like and d d damn there she go talk to you about lekka and so today i am going to be repotting my mini monastera and so let me show you guys where i have them so this is my mini monastera and as you can see it has a nice little root system going on in there my monastera Great. And I have actually have three, three cuttings of my Monastera. So all of them are in tubes and this one has some real good roots growing in there. Really nice. And this is my last one. It has leaves on it, two leaves, and it has a nice root right there in the root system. And I love this little thing, by the way. This is where I propagate some of my vine plants. I love it, it's amazing. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about LECA and what LECA is. All LECA is, LECA is just a lightweight, expanded clay. Um, it is a growing medium in substitution for soil. And so I really like it. I really like using LECA. So, I'm gonna give you guys my top three reasons on why I like using LECA. And the first one is LECA provides the right amount of water. And that, that means a lot for me. Um, especially for those people that travel a lot, ah, which is me. Um, I don't really have to be concerned or worried about my plants or having somebody come over and making sure that my plants are taken care of. So that's, that's really a great reason. And then also for those who are beginner plant parents, and you know who you are, you have the tendency to overwater your plants. Well, it's kind of hard to overwater your plants in LECA, especially if you um, have like clear containers, like this one, if you have clear containers, um, it's kind of hard to overwater your plant. And I'll show you a plant that I've already have a root system set up and that is already transitioned over to LECA. So that's one of my reasons on why I like it. Hard to overwater, it's good when you're traveling and it's also good for those pet parents that are lazy as well. Um, my other two reasons is LECA keeps the pest away. So if you notice, um, all my plant parents out there, indoor plant parents, um, if you notice that moist soil, you have a lot of like those fungus gnats and stuff that come around and spiders and all that other stuff, you don't worry about that with Lekka, like because there's no moist soil there. So that's really a definitely good reason um, because I definitely get tired of putting out my little sticky pads and stuff for those little fungus gnats. I, ugh, I hate it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Um, and then my other third reason uh, for using Lekka is it's reusable. Like once I buy it, once you invest in it, you don't have to throw it out, unlike dirt, because it has fungus and bugs and bacteria and all kind of junk. Mm, you don't want that. And so um, you can use them over and over. You can even keep them for a lifetime. You just have to make sure that you maintain them and that you clean them appropriately and sterilize them. And so what I do with them, I put them like, in wash buckets like this. This is my bucket of laka that we're using today. I wash it out with peroxide. I make sure that if there's any roots or anything that's attached uh, to the leka balls, I just make sure that I clean all of that out. So you definitely can reuse them. So that is a great way to cut back on cost as well. So you don't have to keep buying bags of dirt. All right, so those are my top three reasons. There are a lot of other reasons out there. Go do your research about LECA, but those are what draw me over to LECA. And so without it, of course, I have to give you my cons. I only got two though. 
And the second one, you may not even really think if it's a con, because I really don't, but I'm going to put it out there because these people may think it's a con. I don't know. But anyways, um, so it can be very pricey to transition in the beginning. It can. Um, I want to say for like a 25 bag pound of expanded clay, um, that's what I started out with. Um, I want to say I paid like $25 for that bag of clay. Um, then you also have to go and purchase um, your pots because your pots no longer need holes. You don't have to, you know, worry about drainage holes. Isn't that a blessing? Haha. Uh, -huh. uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about drainage holes. So that's enough. Y'all get into this fit. Get, 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 get into her. I mean, sexy plant mom. She's here. I was just feeling myself. <laughs> By the way, tomorrow is my birthday, so if you guys are seeing this, hopefully I get this posted today um, or tomorrow. Um, it's my birthday, so homegirl feeling herself, feeling herself. But anyways, yeah, I'm that, I'm that sexy plant mom, so keep watching. So, <laughs> it can be very pricey to transition because you gotta buy different things. Um, for it, so no more no more pots that have holes in it because you don't have to worry about drainage anymore. Um, I like to use glass containers because it's very aesthetically ap appealing to me. Um, some people use plastic containers and the luck of balls in there and they can just like sit it down in a tray or whatever, but it's really up to you. You just wanna make sure that there's there's no holes because the water needs to be able to, the clay needs to be able to absorb the water and then it evaporates and all that good stuff. Um, the second con is you gotta become a scientist. You know, so <laughs> that could be, you know, a con for some or some others can be excited. And for me, I got excited. Um, you can't just put your plants in these balls and then just expect it to grow. It doesn't work like that. You, um, you have to have a liquid fertilizer system. And so the one that I use is called the pH Perfect Technology. And so it comes in a set of three. Grow, micro, and then the first one was bloom, okay? And so you have to be able, you have to purchase these, not this particular brand if you don't want to, but I'm gonna give y'all a little tip. Um, this is one of the most reasonable brands and I'm gonna show you a plant that is currently on this um, system right here and I have two different ones that I'm gonna show you guys that you can use. Um, and I've used both of them. I'm experimenting, and so I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the two. So, um, you mix this together. And when I told you guys about one of the cons that the transition is kinda pricey, well, you know, some people want you to go buy this pH balance thingamajigs. I ain't got time for the day. And so what's great about this particular brand right here, it balances out the water for you. All I did was print it out um, the chart to measure out how much I needed to be able to feed my plants. So that is one of them that I use. The other one that I use right here is an all purpose um, water soluble. I really like using this when I start up the roots of my plants, when I'm starting them in the LECA system as over to a transition. Um, I like to use that. Um, I also like to use Super Thrive. If you're a plant parent, you know you know all about this life, Super Thrive life. So I also use Super Thrive as well to help um, establish my roots and transition well over to LECA. So you have your growth system and then you have your these that help your roots get established and transition over. So I am going to show you guys all about those. All right, so now that we got a little, a little history of what Lucky is, let's get into the good stuff, okay? Um, we are going to be repotting these mini monasteras. Um, I already have my Lucky um, already cleaned and ready to go. That's another thing. When you get the bag, it's gonna be like in this red dusty stuff. You have to wash your Lekka balls and let them sit overnight. I let them sit overnight and I give them um, a nutrition treatment so that they can have vitamins and stuff already in there. So let's get started. So this is the pot 
well, glass container that I decided I was going to use to replant my liquor in. And so I'm just gonna like fill up the jar with walls. Oops. It's okay if you drop some. It's less, it's less messier because like there's it's no dirt. But I'm about to pour it in here. So I'm about to do. But Dior's walking around here somewhere. Y'all eventually see her on camera. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour mine in here. in here, let's see how long, let's take a few out, these roots are, all right. So, let's take this baby out. Oh, look how nice that root is, look at that. Beautiful. Dealer, see, I knew she was gonna get it. She finds some little balls. All right, so you see how it sits right in there? I think that's good. Pull out our other one. Look at those roots, guys. Look at how beautiful those roots are. They're gorgeous. This is a very, very healthy plant. Pop that in there. And then my last one right here has one long, nice root. Oh my God. All right. So all of them are in here nicely. So I'm just gonna take the Lekka. Make sure you move it around. And then I'm gonna fill it all the way up to the top. So I want my roots. Look at that. And then you could already see some of the roots peeking through and they've settled in really nicely. Ah, this is so cute. It's beautiful. All right. So of course there's already water in there for the plant to go ahead and survive. But I am going to add a little water in there. I got my handy dancy. So I'm gonna add a little water and I'm actually gonna use the water <laughs> that they came out of because this water already has a treatment in it. Um, and I believe I started these out with Super Thrive. So I'm just gonna use the same water. So take it. And look, there's water right there at the bottom. You don't really need that much. Need that much. This one's gonna do awesome. Like, I'm, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. All right, so I give all of my plants a name. Summer. All right, there is our mini Monastera and we renamed her, we gave her a name. All right, well thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I really hope that you got something out of it. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, love, peace, and fertilizer. I will see you guys soon.